Hello everybody, this video is for 7th graders. Um, welcome. So, uh, it is Thursday, February 4th, and it is 12.36pm. So, I'm here to talk to you about next week, which is week 23. So this is week 22. Um, week 23 is going to be next week. Now next week, um, students do not have school on February 8th, which is Monday. Um, it's a teacher work day. So students do not have school. Um, so just make sure you know, and then we're going to use the alternate schedule that we used in January for when they did not have school on Mondays. So on Tuesday, they'll have bells one three, four, and six. And on Thursday, they'll have bells one, three, four, and six. And then on two, on um, Wednesday and Friday, they'll have two, five, and seven. That is in the lesson plan. That is in the description though. So if you click the lesson plan, you can pull up that schedule. So um, I'm just looking at my lesson plan over here. So um, this week, students are going to be starting their research assignment for A Long Walk to Water. So we just finished A Long Walk to Water this week. Um, I love that book. And it's a really easy one for them to get through overall. Um, it's a simple read. It's really interesting, unique. So good book choice, I thought, for a time like this. But they're going to start doing their research. So this research project is a very simple step-by-step step of how to do a research project. So basically every year at Walnut, students will do research. So this is a like broken down step-by-step -step approach of exactly how to do it. The library is gonna come in next week for one of the blocks to teach all the students how to use the databases, how to do research, how to take research notes, um, and then how to create like a research question. You know, they're gonna come in and help me teach all that stuff. And then um, I'll also be explaining to them how to put together a research essay, um, what it should look like, how to evaluate sources, again, going over how to take research, research notes, how to do a works cited page. Um, so we're going to go over everything, you know, really slowly next week. Um, we can't write the entire research essay just because you know, we just don't have time. So we can't write the whole thing, but we're going to do all the steps. So like, we're going to do all the research and do all the notes and I'll show them how to do that. And then we'll write all our research questions and I'll show them how to do that. You know, we'll do our thesis together, our intro together, all our body paragraphs, our conclusion, our work cited page, we'll all do together. Um, I'll show them how to take the notes. I'll show them how to organize all their paragraphs. You know, I'll show them exactly how to do it. But it is going to take a little long because of the blended learning schedule because I don't want students to have to do too much by themselves because I think that's going to be a little confusing. So um, it is going to take a little longer than I thought, but I think it'll be really informative and I think they'll enjoy it. You know, they can research basically whatever they want. Anything that relates to the book, you know, they could research um, Sudanese African culture. They can research nonprofits that provide water. They can do the Sudanese water crisis. They could do the Sudan Civil War. Um, they could research the author. They could research Salva Dutt, who's the main character because it's nonfiction. So they can research basically anything they want. Um, anyway, other than introducing the research, we're also doing vocabulary. <clears throat> um, and I think that's it. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do next week. It really is going to be focusing on introducing the research project, you know, deciding what they want to research. And then over the weekend, they'll have an opportunity to practice writing research questions and they'll write three and turn them in. And then we'll kind of go over them when we get back to class the week after. So that's pretty much what's... Um, what's happening. So there you go. Um, if you want to know about Walnut in person, um, make sure you read all the way through my what I know so far document that's in my weekly wrap up email. So just make sure you read that. Make sure you check your email for the Eagle Flyer from yesterday, which was Wednesday, February 3rd, because that has a lot of information in it as well. Otherwise, just let me know if you have any questions. Send me an email. I really look forward to starting the research project next week. Um, but yeah, check the lesson plan in the description if you want more information, and I will see you guys next week.